I've always had that interest in running. I've always had that feeling that I can run. I would probably do my half, my first half marathon in the army in the 1960s. And from that time on, I've run up until retirement where I was able to spend more time running, like every day, which is what I do now. I originated from Carlisle. I married Laura uh, and she died five years and three months uh, uh, ago and she was my soulmate. Plans for retirement were straightforward enough. Uh, Laura was ill and I was going to look after her and we were going to travel to America and Australia where my sons live and unfortunately five years ago she died and then from that point on I had no purpose in life. So the whole purpose was then put into uh, exercise. Because I was decided to move to America, I decided I would have every test that a little old man could have. The doctor said to me, you need to go to see a specialist. There's a lump uh, or a hard bit on your prostate. Alex was obviously quite worried about his unexpected diagnosis of prostate cancer. And he wanted a best treatment option which can help him to maybe cure or keep his cancer under control for the long term. But one thing he was more concerned that how the treatment is going to impact him as a person. I was offered radiotherapy by Dr. Daz after he had considered other treatments for prostate cancer. He thought that was the best way forward. When I was told about radiotherapy, like everybody else, I thought, is there going to be a problem? My problem was, is it going to stop me training? But sometimes the radiotherapy does go into other organs. Damage to, for instance, the back passage internally, that could be done, and, and other organs in the area of the prostate. That was probably the, the most fear that I ever had because the, the, uh, the consequence of damage to uh, either of those could be quite complicated, I, be, I understand as a layman. Because Alex was a very keen sportsman, he used to run a lot and he was very fit physically. So one of the things he's always wanted to explore, a treatment which will have a minimal impact his day-to-day -day activities. At that time we mentioned about or talked about spaceware. I said to him the benefit of the spaceware, the technical aspect and he was really interested and he made a decision very quickly that he wants to go and avail spaceware. I was offered space or by Dr. Daz at the same time as he explained the symptoms of radiotherapy. Uh, space or was a new gel that was injected around the prostate that protected organs within that area. The space or procedure for me was quite straightforward. It was under anaesthetic, it was an operation condition and after having a number of biopsies taken previous to that in the same area this was very straightforward indeed. I had the uh, space uh, or uh, introduced uh, and by dinner time the same day I was ready to come out. I came out and with two days I was running again. So far I haven't come across any significant side effect or from the my practice point of view any long-term side effect or any immediate talk complication and if you look at that the clinical trial data or looking at the other colleagues uh, experience what I have seen it does not delay patients radiotherapy I haven't come across any damage to the bowel or bladder and most of the patient I would say probably 85 to 90 percent patient they don't have any issues post operatively or post procedure it was vitally important for me to get running again because that really is my whole life. Exercise is so important and for me and, uh, and I like it so much.